Cardi B versus Joe Button. Also, never got a lap dance from this lady. Bro, I gave you a lap dance two times and fucking started. You was high as fuck. Y'all high just... as fuck on coke, nigga. Smell that coke through yeah. your breath. I can That's smell that coke through your breath. Well, I ain't no coke smell. Second of all... Thanks. You ain't no coke had a smell, and, and actually, that's not even nothing to brag about. Second of all, you're like, I will never talk about this, 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 and that. I don't give a fuck when people talk shit about talk about me. It's just the fact that you always talk shit about me, Joe Biden. You always talk shit about me out of nowhere. You would think I did something to this nigga out of nowhere. For the past two years, this nigga have only talked bad things about me, bad not things true. about me constantly. Not true. Why? Because you got an interview? And the fact about it is that you don't even have to do that. Because I bet I know for a fact, bitch, it's not telling you to do that. You just do that to pander. All right. So that's the first clip. And I would definitely say that um, Cardi has been the subject of conversation on the Joe Button podcast for the last year because she has promised an album. And Joe has been on that ass about him not believing that there's an album coming uh she has promised an album in december it's supposed to uh it was supposed to drop then the first quarter it didn't they said it's going to drop during the summertime they dropped singles there was a gear up there was a whole situation and then all of a sudden she says for my mental health i need to just i don't want to drop an album this year hey guys y'all not getting us she tell it she said this to her audience joe goes on air and says, I told y'all niggas she wasn't dropping no album and that there's no album coming in the future. He said that there will never be another Cardi B album ever. That was said out of jest, but there was, yes, there was a tone of seriousness to it, but it was also said as a joke just to say that, hey, he's really trying to goad her into saying, fuck it, let's go time. Let's put the album out. She took offense to these statements and said that, yo, you taking shots at me, you hating on me. He's She's... From my perspective, he's not hating. From my perspective, he's being a podcaster. He's weighing in on something that's happening in, in, the, in, in the public sphere. If he was trying to come at you, he would have called you a fucking idiot or he would have called you a whore or he would have. He never said he never said anything. This was the only thing he said is, bro, she's not dropping. She makes more money off of singles than she does off of albums. Hmm. And this is obvious because she has two diamond albums and she's got a shitload of platinum plaques from solo joints to her collaborating with tons of different artists. I feel like what he said is kind of pretty valid because the proof is in the goddamn pudding. Um, the reason why I wanted to bring this up is not that I give a fuck about whether or not, you know, they are beefing. Yo, once again, this is all, this is me talking about as being as a podcaster. This is me being a sensitive podcaster today. Nigga, I can't even talk about how you're not dropping an album without you getting offended and stirring up beef. No, but I think that's the thing, though. I think we got to find, we got to find this meeting between the, um, the commentators and the people who are playing the sport, so to say. Like, right, so right. the artists are the ones that's playing the sport and the commentators, we're talking about the sport, right? We're not in the sport. And I think, um... I think it comes down to like, you know, what what was it? Erica Badu said it. Like we we mm -hmm. we artists, we sensitive about our shit. Was it Erica, Erica Badu? So, mm -hmm. so it's like we so we have to understand that artists are sensitive about their shit. So we might just be joking, but to them, it's not a joke. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I understand both sides. It's like I think well, again, when I did the interview with Ti and we was going over the interview, he told me straight up, and I love the fact that we could have this conversation. He was like, "Man, what's good for you might not be good for me." And I had to accept that. I didn't. I didn't like it. I didn't want to. But you gotta accept that. You gotta respect it because it's like, okay, you want to talk about this shit when that don't do me no good in my career. You mm -hmm. get what I'm trying to say? The same vice versa. So I, I get like Joe. I I don't think she understands the love that Joe has for her because she probably doesn't really watch the, the Joe Button podcast. She probably only see the the negative shit when it come up, which is understandable. That's okay. His his podcast be like three hours long. I don't get mad when people don't watch my podcast because it's it's an acquired taste. The shit. It's long and to watch somebody talk. I don't even be wanting to do it sometimes. So I get it. I say that to say Joe had we as Joe Button fans, we know the love and admiration that Joe has for Cardi B. We know that. I think all of his fans know that. But for the people that don't know that, they see him saying that she's not coming out with an album. He has a big platform. To her, that can be swaying the audience. He's, mm -hmm. he's probably not doing that intentional, but it could very much so be doing that. So when mm -hmm. when you when you're looking at somebody who who's who's not creating music, not because I don't want to, it might be because of anxiety, it might be because of my fears, it might be because I just I just had a, a really real life situation with my husband, I'm going through real life shit. And you talking about an album, you talking, telling my people that I'm not gonna drop an album, but like you have, you don't know shit. 
So yeah, I can see her being upset. Like, yo, you don't know shit about me. You don't know, so keep my name out your mouth. Especially when you got everybody else attacking you. You get what I'm trying to say? Like, we gotta understand. Like, and I'm not trying. To, I'm not trying to be here to cape for uh for Cardi B, but she's a person, so I get it. It's like my nigga. Like, we be letting these this these these followers and this celebrity shit get in our face and, and like just getting away of not us understanding that these are re regular human beings. You get what I'm trying to say? Like, she got real life shit going on, so she, of course she get on the internet and she hit you and go Joe. Always in somebody's business. Joe saying she's never going to drop an album. I don't got time to go watch and see if you really like me. I'm going to return. I'm going to talk about that. If that makes sense. Like, yo, get out my dick. Leave me alone. Okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, I don't I, really. I don't agree, but yeah, that's what's up. What you don't agree about? Uh, you're a public figure. Uh, your whole life. You, you've made your whole life uh, public. Uh, you made statements publicly. At one point, you said you was dropping an album. Then you said you wasn't dropping an album, and you made it. You made that statement in a public space. It wasn't something she said in private. It wasn't like somebody recorded her illegally and without her permission. So, you, when you make public statements, guess what? It becomes public fodder. I cannot be a podcast in this public space and just expect that people are not going to talk about me behind my back, whether it be something positive or negative. Everybody got different experiences with me and their perspectives are going to be different. People can have positive experiences on me and still have a negative perspective based on what they see. You know, I just made some crazy ass statements about whooping a nigga ass because nigga was fucking a bitch. You know what I mean? I just said some wild shit last week. Do you think it's not going to cause people to have conversations in the comments? You know what I'm saying? And then them now start to uh, 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 create a narrative about who I am and what I'm about, yo. That's a part of the game, baby. Well, and you have, you, she's gonna have every to change in. Go ahead. You can have every intention to do something, but then if something in your life happens that kind of like fucks you up mentally or whatever the case is, I feel like it's all right to be like, nah, I need to take a step back and address this shit first because I don't want to put out no mediocre bullshit. Like you know what I mean? Especially I, if you if you, if you got a, a track record of every album you put out is diamond. You don't want to put out no bullshit because then all motherfuckers gonna be talking about is, oh, you waited this long to put out some bullshit. Da, 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 da. It's like, I can agree with you on that. Point, Jay. I feel like I feel like let's not overlook the human experience. I hear people say so many times that like True. you can't do this. You can, you can be an artist. You can give commentation and not expect or or not want to hear the critics. You can do that. It's going to make your job hell of a, a lot harder, but you can do that. So when, when we say like you can't just give com you can't be good commentary and not expect for people to comment on you. I mean, you you can expect it, but it's going to make your job a lot harder. All I'm saying is this is the space that she's in. I'm not saying I agree with it. I'm just saying I understand it. That's all I'm saying. So being somebody mm -hmm. who understands it, that's how now we have to move in a different way. We can't have we can't hope being somebody who understands it we can't hold those who don't understand to a different to a different expectation no we got to hold them to the expectation of where they are that's where they are they don't understand it so now we got to move different my bad i i see that that hurt i ain't mean it like that cardi and maybe i'm gonna chill on your name for a second now that is a great statement joe said i think i understand what's going on this is a play because i love her uh i'm on spaces also i've never done coke also i've never gotten a lab dance from this i uh, promise you and i can assure you i will not cover a single thing this girl does for the remainder of her career peace and love she literally took the 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 play that jay hill just said joe button says hey this seem to be too sensitive i'm gonna not bring you up anymore cool now that's a beautiful thing to do i i think that's very mature on the on the behalf of joe he's been doing that a lot lately creating that list of people he just won't talk about but i feel like you know and only to cardi and cardi i love you cardi more so than any of these other girls in the music space currently uh with the exception of some r&b chicks that i love anyway you are missing out on prime opportunity to be promoted by somebody whom every sentence that comes out of his mouth <laughs> seems to go viral. But I think I'm not gonna lie. I think Joe. I think Joe mishandled that again. Him saying that he's not gonna talk about her no more. What? Well, how does that a mishandle it? He, he the took issue your. Is it, I think it's a little. I think it's a. I think it's a little, think it's a little condescending. It could be a little gas lituation over there. How, oh, how is this I'm, I'm condescending? I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. Because the problem isn't you talking about me. The problem is you, is you talking negatively about me. I'm not complaining when you talk about me positively. So yeah, maybe 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 you could say I won't say anything 
that can be belittling to you in your career. Maybe you say, I won't say anything that could possibly think, hurt your hurt has, your has, business. Has, I has think, she ever I said think, anything? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, so go ahead, Nick, because I'm gonna get has, mad afterwards. Go ahead. Has she has she ever addressed anything that Joe has positively said about her? No, no. I'm pretty sure no. Nobody so, ever says nothing about when he's kissing their ass. So so that's also I mean the reason why he probably like, all right, yeah. I, ain't, I ain't gonna say nothing else then. Cause clearly you only gonna say something when I say something bad. I've been talking good shit about you for years and the one time that i'd say something that wasn't even bad to your case because i don't watch the joe button podcast i don't know if you ever said that bad you but... got a clip no. Uh, no 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 but if you only gonna address the shit that i said that was kind of negative then it's like all right i ain't gonna say nothing but also it's going to be kind of impossible to not talk about cardi b if she drops a banging ass album bro how you not going to speak on it if it, gets, if, it if somebody on the podcast says something about it you're just gonna sit there and you're going to have some type of look on no. your face or you, right. so based on the episode that played yesterday uh that came out yesterday uh they was talking about how eminem album is fire joe said uh eminem is on a list of people that i cannot talk about anymore <laughs> positively or negatively because it always seems to affect my relationships with the people i love so at this point i have no opinion on eminem and they kept talking about it he like yo can we stop talking about this because i don't want to have no parts of it so like and, and, and i feel like jay hill at this point is purposely gaslighting me on this show right now with the bullshit that he just said and i'm i'm, I'm letting him slide off of it because it's because he know what he just said was some fucking bullshit everything you just said was some fucking bullshit bro, bro wow it's like that girl he didn't gaslight that girl he said respectfully if you i'm not gonna say nothing about you so why the fuck do i need to only kiss ass i'm not about to talk about nobody if uh, only thing i can kiss ass i don't even want to be friends with you if i can't have an argument if i can't fucking I can't tell you argument. some shit is wrong if i can't tell you you do some fucked up shit okay I, cool he, he ain't gonna talk about her but even even outside I, of him and cardi i think that's you're still Tell taking what about your fans then? Like, like when he talk about Eminem, we come to Joe Button spe specifically to yeah. hear about culture, hip hop shit because of his knowledge and his history, his tenure in 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 the, in the, in the space, right? Yep. So when you don't have the conversation about Eminem or Cardi B or a business that 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 went bad, you depriving your your, your audience. That's why we're here. Cool. Okay. Go somewhere else to hear about Cardi. Go somewhere else to hear about M. You know what I mean? What's that? What is that? I have no idea. What the fuck is that? I can't even see that shit. Dudes with a... I don't say know. Every, let's say every bald light skin dude with a beard look like this. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What emoji is that? It's just a, somebody somebody drew on a on a potato and put some eyes on it. <laughs> and I only showed that to say maybe it wasn't that nigga that got the lap dance. Maybe it just Yo, was a nigga that looked like a nigga. <laughs> maybe he, it wasn't him. All yeah. bald niggas with beards look the same. Yo, that's hilarious. He ain't do no coke, man. That man ain't do no coke. That nigga ain't get no lap dance from her, man. Hey, I stand hey, by that. 